At the Kimball, we, we collect great works of art, we preserve them, we display them, and we interpret them for our public. The distinctive thing is that emphasis on great. The Kimball's based on what you could call the masterpiece principle. Uh, we believe that the single work of art or a small number of works of art can distill the essence of the culture that produced them. We're, in a way, the opposite of the period room. You know those rooms in great museums where you have wallpaper and teapots and uh, paintings and sculpture all from the same time. Um, and there's a kind of um, cumulative effect. With the Kimball, you get the effect from the single great masterpiece. They are unique places to feed the mind in exciting, interactive, insightful, and intelligent ways. Visitors to truly international museums leave with a broader knowledge of the world, history, and the human spirit. What's wonderful about museums is that you can go by yourself, with your friend or lover, with your wife and children, and have an experience which is really fundamentally much more intimate um, than an experience you have at a mass event like a movie or a sports thing. And I think that that's what makes museums great. One of the best ways to go to a museum is to go for a half an hour. If you go and look at two things and sort of drink them in, have a like, relationship with a couple of works of art and then go back into your life, that can be very deeply satisfying. Often referred to as America's Jewel Box, the Kimball Art Museum in Fort Worth, Texas is a small museum with a big reputation. Recognized internationally in the art community for its landmark building and collection of about 350 masterpieces, the Kimball features important works ranging from antiquity to the 20th century. We have the best of the best by so many different artists from so many different periods. Kimball's not like most American museums which depend on donations of artwork by uh, collectors. The Kimball collection grows by purchase, works carefully chosen by directors and curators, and as a result, it has a canonical textbook quality about it. The Kimball is part of a network of museums that's truly international. We lend to other institutions and uh, we borrow from them. One of the best things about being at the Kimball is that other museum professionals throughout the world are so fond of us that they'll lend even though we uh, have a small collection and can't lend as uh, copiously perhaps as, um, as bigger museums. These masterpieces are housed here in one of the greatest achievements in 20th century architecture. The design from world-renowned architect Louis Kahn highlights his innovative use of light and greatly enhances the experience of the art. Well, Louis Kahn, when he designed the Kimball, was driven by the desire for natural light in the galleries, light that comes in from outside. It comes in through slits in the height of the vaults and is diffused by aluminum meshes um, and then reflects off the very smooth concrete surfaces of the vaults. And the result is this wonderful, even, silvery light. The galleries at the Kimball are designed for interpenetrability. You can always see through from one space to another. And this plays out the kind of universalist idea of art that was part of the, the founding principle of the Kimball. The idea that great works of art can speak to each other across vast tracts of time and geography, that there's a kind of resonance between them. I think that the most remarkable thing about the Kimball is the accord between the greatness of the works of art and the greatness of the building. And the building is not just a container for the works of art, it is itself a work of art. I mean, how could one go to Fort Worth if one was from Paris or one was from New York or San Diego or Seoul and not go to the Kimball? And when you go to the Kimball and you're from all those other places, you can find yourself in it. And then suddenly you're at home in Fort Worth. We have acquisitions that we've made that have been a tremendous success in that we've bought them when there's still a little bit of doubt amongst the experts about whether uh, the work in question is authentic. I mean, our Caravaggio, it's hard to believe now, but there were scholars at the time that we bought it who doubted its authenticity. Now, um, luckily for us, we discovered absolutely incontrovertible proof that it is genuine. That is a great success for a museum if you can buy a work of art bravely and it turns out well. The Kimball offers opportunities and examples to see what a superlative work of art looks like, and it certainly helps gauge perhaps a, 
acquisition that someone's considering. Whether you come and you're interested in seeing pretty things, whether you're a very, very uh, skilled and educated uh, collector, a dealer, uh, this is a museum that draws people from all over the world over a 30 or 40 year period when acquiring works of art like this has been virtually impossible to do. This magnificent museum has done something that will stand the test of time. And I don't know of another museum where you can go and stand in one place and rotate around and be able to have the opportunity to see all these great works of art and really the development of painting and sculpture in Europe over a 600 year period as is afforded you by visiting the Kimball Museum. The Kimball has fewer than 400 works of art. And I was the director of the Dallas Museum. The Dallas Museum has more than 30,000 works of art. The Metropolitan Museum has two million works of art. And when you come into the Kimball, it's like a kind of ADD tour of art. I mean, you get only the best, a few things, you can pay attention to everything, you're never overwhelmed. And the combination of small numbers of works of art and very high quality in a superb building is something that's really unmatched anywhere else in the world. We're just as ambitious with our exhibition program as we are with our acquisitions. Uh, recently we mounted an incredibly difficult show that was only shown at the Kimball of early Christian art. Um, we were lucky enough recently to be awarded uh, Exhibition of the Year by Apollo magazine for another show called The Mirror and the Mask which was about the phenomenon of um, portraiture in the modern age. If you see a Caravaggio exhibition in Rome, the Kimball Caravaggio will be in it. If you see a Monet exhibition in Paris, the Kimball Monets will be in it. And there is a quality in which the Kimball collections are known not, o not only in Fort Worth, but all over the world because the Kimball has been a very generous lender to exhibitions as well as a, very, as, as a wonderful borrower of major works of art for Fort Worth. Well, our huge project for the future is a new building to be designed by Renzo Piano, the great Italian architect. The one thing that our visitors are dissatisfied with when they come to the Kimball is perhaps that they don't see as much of the permanent collection as they'd like to when we have a major exhibition. We simply don't have enough space to do it justice. With a new building, we can show exhibitions there and permanent collections throughout this building, the great Louis Kahn building. We pride ourselves on our exhibitions and all our programs associated with them, but the real lifeblood of the museum is its collection. That's where everything starts. If we can continue to enrich that with great acquisitions, then the Kimball will flourish forever. It's an experience you can't duplicate any other way to come here to the Kimball and see this great masterpiece of a building that contains so many masterpieces of art. Here you can have the experience of standing in front of a Rembrandt painting being in the same position that that great artist had as he painted the work, and you're the only one doing it. This is a unique object that only exists in one place, and that place is the Kimball Art Museum. Seeing the world's greatest works of art in one of the world's greatest buildings is an unforgettable experience. Make your plans to visit this must-see destination, the Kimball Art Museum. Log on to KimballArt.org or call the number on your screen for more information.